Let's create factor trees. Now, a normal tree that when you look outside, you know, this is kind of what we think about, where we start small and then as it gets closer to the bottom, it's bigger, right? This is like our how we draw trees. I mean, obviously, if you're a good artist, you draw, draw trees better than that. But the idea is we can take a number and break it down into its factors using an organized factor tree. Now, remember that a factor is a number that divides evenly in. So if I would say the number six, right, the factors are one, six, two, and three because all of these divide evenly into six. Now, if all of the numbers we were playing with were nice and easy like six, we wouldn't need a factor tree. But sometimes we get to numbers like 48, and we're like, whew, let's list all the factors. Okay, so a factor tree. What multiplies together to get 48? Well, one times 48, but that's not really helpful. Let's do two times 24. Two doesn't break down anymore. Uh, 24 breaks down 3 and 8. And 8 breaks down 2 and 4. Right? And then 4 breaks down 2 and 2. This allows us to go into a prime factorization. Okay? So, uh, we'll get to that in a different video. But this is the idea of a factor tree. That you break uh, a number down into as many factors as you can. What goes into it evenly? I always start small numbers. What is the easiest number I can go in? Because sometimes we have a large number, like 120. And I'm like, man, that's hard for me to think like, what's the best number to go into that? It doesn't have to be the best. That's not what we're looking at. I know that 120 is even. That means two divides into it evenly. So I'm going to go with two and well, 120 divided by two is 60. 60 is already a lot smaller. <laughs> it's half actually. And then I can say, well, don't worry, 60 is also even. So let's divide that by 2. Well, 60 divided by 2 is 30. This is great. 30 is even. So 2 times 15 gives me 30. Now, 15 is not even, so I can't use 2 again. But 15, I know, is 3 times 5. And once all of these numbers are prime, you know you can't break it down any further. Let's go with 78. We got two more examples here. 78, again, is even. So 78 divided by 2 is 39. So 2 divided by 39. Obviously, if you have a calculator, you can do that. Um, or you can just work it out on the side. Now, 39 is odd, so that's not going to work. But 3 and 9 are both multiples of 3. So I know 3 is going to go into this evenly. So 39 divided by 3 is 1. Right? Then 3 goes into 9 three times, so 13. Nothing goes evenly into 13 except 1 and 13. So these are all done. I've made my factor tree. All right, let's do one more that's not quite as easy to start with. We have an odd number. So we know 2 doesn't go in. And if you don't look at this and go, whew, I know exactly how that breaks down. Well, then you start with, I always start with, again, the smallest numbers. 51 is odd, so I know it's not going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, right? Odd numbers don't have even things in them. All right, so if I take 51, and I'm going to just start with 3. 3 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Then I have 21. 3 goes into 21 seven times. Comes out nicely. So I have 3 times 17. These are both prime, and that is my factor tree. So it really just depends on what you're doing. You know what? I want to do one more. And actually, I want to do one we've already done. We're going to do 48 again. I started with 2 and 24 the first time, but I want to show you that it doesn't really matter. So 48, I could say, well, I know that that's 6 times 8. Right? 6 times 8 is 48. So we have that. Well, 6 breaks down 2 times 3, and 8 breaks down 2 times 4, and then 4 breaks down 2 times 2. So you'll notice we had four twos and a 3. And if I go back to my very first page, I had one, two, three, four twos, and a three. So it doesn't matter which path you take to get there, your factor tree will still contain all of the factors that you need when breaking this down.